Young beetles in the East Gunja district of the northern region have been in existence for five years now. Bad farming practices lead to the invasion of farms in large numbers. There's a macro environment in the field, especially bushy fields. They will still breed and even make further migration to other fields. So it's good to keep our, to keep our farms clean at all times so that you don't have uh, grounds that the, the insects can breed. Nine villages have so far been attacked by the young beetles. According to some farmers, the beetles have been invading their farms every yam season for about six years now. On a visit to the farms, you see green yam leaves all right, but the devastation of the beetles occur in the yam mounds. These beetles eat the tuber, making it remain a yamless head. In a single mound, one can find 10 to 20 of the pests. Some farmers behead the beetles, but others say the more you behead them, the more the pests invade the farms. In this year's invasion, not a single young mound has been spared. The problem has long been known to the East Gunja District Assembly, but the people's representatives have done nothing to assist the farmers get rid of this nuisance. I for this year there, I don't think to, to eat kurabo kanget. One cultural practice of the people here that encourages the breeding and survival of beetles is the use of pesticides and insecticides. Because of wide use of uh, uh, broad spectrum insecticides, we have also ended up, uh, ended up killing some of the better nature enemies that would have helped us control the pests. The deduction of the frustrated farmers is that the yam destroyers emerge from the Black Volta, which is close to some of the villages, a suspicion confirmed by the director of the Savannah Agriculture Research Institute. Due to the environment, uh, if you recall, uh, that area is, uh, uh, is in the Katanga-based uh, uh, region. And uh, because of the marshy nature of the uh, area, uh, the pest will hibernate around that place. One of the affected villages is called Kuku. The chief here, Isifu Umanaya, says they feel shy to bring the affected yams home. He said they have prayed to all their gods and the omnipotent himself, but none has that yet annihilated the pests that are of biblical locust proportion. For Chief Umanaya and his council of elders, this attack is surely a curse from one deity or another for an offense they have no idea of. We have been cursed by the gods. We have performed so many rites, but they have neglected us. In the home of the chief, the wife gets less than a few pieces of sliced yam from about four affected tubers. We feel shy to even bring the tubers home. When we peel the infested ones, we get nothing out of it. This has wreaked untold hardship on the hundreds of yam growers in the district who have contracted cut-through loans from banks and other money lenders at the start of the planting season. They have less than enough to eat, not to talk about getting money from sales to pay back loans. Uh, farmers, uh, they are helpless indeed uh, from the interaction uh, that we've been having with them. They, they are helpless because of the limited resources that they have, uh, the small uh, resources that they have after having invested it on the farm and uh, they cannot uh, harvest anything. The beetle invasion has thrown scores of farming families into exodus elsewhere with its attendant family dislocation challenges. From the East Gonja district, surely the population of Kayaye and jobless youths in the cities is going to go up by a few hundreds. Back home, hundreds of acres of yam farms have been invaded by the beetles. So, was this problem not solvable in the very initial stage? Even now, can't the situation be arrested? There is hope for the farmers if the SARI assists them to clear the beetles for their farms. So what we need, for instance, is yam that can mature early so that if you plant it late, the farmer can still harvest. So we need breeders that can develop yam that mature quickly and so it can be planted late and the farmer can still harvest. That type of yam is likely to have escaped the problem because it's planted late. I'll say, Go here, sir. Hey, yes.